This is Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. All right, for number 16, I have eight plus four A plus 6.2 minus nine A. The first thing you wanna do is combine like terms. I have eight here and I have 6.2. So if I combine all the numbers together, I'm going to get eight plus six, that's gonna be 14.2. And then I have four A's here and then I have minus nine A's. We know that we're going to get a negative answer. Uh, 4a minus 9a, that's gonna be minus or negative 5a. And guess what? That's your answer. If you didn't write it like that, if you wrote it as negative 5a plus 14.2, that's okay too because of the commutative property. So both of these are the answers. For number 18, you have four times the quantity b minus six, and then you're gonna add 19 to it. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to distribute. So that's right, you have b minus six, but you have quadrupled that. That means times four. I'm going to multiply four times b or distribute four to b. That's gonna be four b. And then four times negative six, that's gonna be negative 24. Drop down the 19. Now I can combine like terms. I see that there's negative 24 here and there's positive 19 here. Uh, negative 24 plus 19, uh, I think that's gonna be five or negative five. So four B minus five is your answer. Eight, hey, if you wrote it a different way, that's okay. If you wrote negative five plus four B, that answer is okay too because of the commutative property. For number 19, I have 4p minus 5 times the quantity p plus 6. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the negative 5 into p and to positive 6. Let me write down 4p first. All right, negative 5 times p, that's right, that's going to be negative 5p or minus 5p. And this is where a lot of students get it wrong. They go, hmm, five times six, is that 30? Yes, it is, but it's negative five times six. So it's going to be negative 30. You're going to subtract 30. What you're really doing is you're taking away five times the six, which is negative 30. Now you can combine like terms. You have four P here, you have minus five P here. Four uh, P minus five P, that's going to be negative P and then subtracted by 30. If you didn't put your answer like that, you wrote negative 30 minus P, that is okay too because of the commutative property. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.